Welcome to Stonewatch. This is the Retro Rewatch. Today we're checking out 1981's Southern Comfort. If you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button and click on that bell so you can notify future videos. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And yes, after taking part of a voting poll on Twitter to pick the best one out of these old six action films, those being Delta Force from 1986, Red Dawn from 1984, Toy Soldiers from 1984, Iron Eagle from 1986, Universal Soldier from 1992, and Southern Comfort from 1981. Now, technically, I was only supposed to pick one out of those six and which ones I liked the most. Now, I liked all those films except for one, mainly because I've never seen it before. I mean, I've never even heard of it before until I actually saw this post on Twitter. And I said so when I actually put in my rankings of all these films because I liked them all, all for different reasons and for at different levels, but I liked all these movies. I enjoyed them all for what they were, you know what I'm saying? And I had to put Southern Comfort at number six because, me again, mainly I've never seen it before. And I said, I've never seen this movie, so I want to put this one at number six. I'm not saying that it sucks. I'm just saying I've never seen it, so it's at number six. And then I got inundated by all these other people saying, oh man, you got to check this movie out. This movie is so damn awesome. Everybody says this movie's great. And I got to tell you, I don't see it man i mean maybe i would have saw it that way what if i saw it back then but now not so much i mean n i i don't know man southern comfort is a 1981 american action thriller film directed by walter hill and written by Walter Hill, Michael Caine, and David Giller. The film is set in 1973, features a Louisiana Army National Guard squad of nine from an infantry unit on weekend maneuvers in the rural bio country as they antagonize some local Cajun people and become hunted. Hill first wrote the script in 1976. At one stage, it was known as The Prey. According to Walter Hill, he and David Giller had a deal with 20th Century Fox to acquire and develop interesting commercial scripts that could be produced cheaply. Alien from 1976 was one of them. Southern Comfort was the other one. We wanted to do a survival story and we've already done a film in Louisiana. They hired a writer Michael Caine to do a draft which Geller and Hill then rewrote. According to Hill no studio wanted to make it but an independent guy showed up who had a relationship with Fox, liked it and said he would finance it. The film was financed by the Cinema Group. This was a company headed by William J. Emmerman, whose head of production was Venetia Stevenson, daughter of director Robert Stevenson. The Cinema Group had raised a fund of $30 million to make movies, half of which was private, the other half was publicly raised. Southern Comfort was their second film, Take This Job and Shove It was their first. Starring in this movie, Keith Carradine, Powers Booth, Fred Ward, T.K. Carter, Lewis Smith, Alan Autry, Les Lanham, Franklin Seals, and Peter Coyote, just to name a few. Currently, Southern Comfort is sit with a Rotten Tomatoes score of 75%, with 20 critics so far reporting in. Now, the last top critic to do his review was on June of 20. 22. Now, he didn't like it, and he said that Southern Comfort subsequently limps towards its exceedingly less than satisfying closing with the end result of a relentless hit and miss piece of work that often feels as though it should have been much much better. Now over on the audience side it's also sitting with a score of 75% with 5,000 plus fans telling you what they think. Now the last fan to do their review other than my video right now was of January of 2022. Now he liked it. He gave it three and a half stars and said that a lot more dialogue and much slower pace than I was expecting. Conversely not as cheesy or cheaply made as one might expect. The end was good enough to elevate it a notch or two because it'll haunt you and make you want to stay in your cubicle now i wish i could say that i like this movie but i didn't i mean after the opening scene of this after seeing that i'm going what how are these guys not hitting this guy? I mean, are these all stormtroopers or something? I mean, and then you find out in a few minutes, going in more into the story, that they're shooting blanks. Now, I understand that you would probably want to use blanks if you were doing war games out in the woods and stuff like that. That makes a whole lot of sense to me. But when you're standing in a line like that, you're telling me that you're doing target practice. Who does target practice with blanks other than in a movie? Besides in a movie. But if you're doing military training, you're not doing target practice with blanks. Why would you do that? How would you know if you hit anything? I mean, that was like one thing. And it's just, I, I tried to like this movie. I really did. It's just, it, it was too slow. I thought that the story was kind of like really bad. I thought the dialogue was bad. Now, with all the actors that were in this movie, Powers Booth, Fred Ward, 
Peter Coyote. I mean, man, I wanted to like this movie. I really I did, but I just couldn't. I mean, and then I even watched it with commercials too. I found it on Amazon. I have a subscription, but you had to watch it with commercials. And you can't skip these commercials. You have to watch them or that's it. I mean, all in all, I did not like this movie. I don't recommend this movie. Out of those six action movies that I did that ranking on, and I put this one at six, this one stays at six. I actually would like to take this one off the list and put something there in its place. I mean, maybe somebody will like it. Obviously, there's people that do like it. They're 75% at critics and the audience. But I am not one of them. I'm sorry. I'm just not. So maybe you might like it. <sighs> But I wouldn't pay anything for it. I, I And I didn't. And I paid other than the loss of time. And I made myself finish this thing because I'm going to finish this movie. And I just, it never got better. So did you see the movie Southern Comfort from 1981? Let me know in the comments down below. What did you think about this movie? Let me know in the comments down below. And all those other movies that I put up in here and early in the video, where do you rank those movies? Let me know in the comments down below. I mean, I wanted to like this movie, but I just couldn't do it, man. Just couldn't do it. So let me know what you think in the comments down below.